When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it Hey guys, welcome back to KNS Get Out. Do you see what that is? Sunshine. Sunshine and blue skies. It's bright, but we are happy to see it. Yeah, very much so. We had a cold, cloudy day yesterday. Very cold. I don't remember what the temperature got up to, but it was like bibs and layers. Today it's still cool, supposed to get up to about the mid 50s here in a couple few hours, but we got an early start today. Went up, did a little morning training with Mr. Bruno. Uh, he's doing great, learning, he's learning some basic commands like don't bite our hands off, uh, don't eat those shoes. No, I'm just kidding. He actually is doing very well. Yeah. And the mornings are the best time for training him. Mm -hmm. Sorry I agree. the shadows are bad. It's a little bit later in the day, so the sun is up high. But, but we have to wear hats because it's so bright out here. Yeah, and I have to kill wasps. I gotta have my weapon. You think they're gonna be out today? I will. If they are, I'm ready. Okay. I got my thinking wasp cap on. <laughs> so. We went ahead and took care of Bruno. Wear him out. That is the goal of the morning time training and play session. And we did, he honestly, I think we drained his battery all the way to zero, so much so that we got him in his pen, which we're training him on doing by himself, which mm -hmm. is awesome. And the guy just sacked out, didn't whine, didn't make a peep. So, a little progress today. We're proud puppy parents. Yeah. And then, of course, we went down, took care of the goaties, and Mr. Herc and everybody got them fed. We Boy, That's pretty good, huh? You like guinea eggs?
cut their grain in half. That's a little bold, but the reason we did that is we're going to go down now and get them out. Herc is anxious. The goats always want to be out, but look at all that green coming in. So there's plenty of forage for these guys. We cut down on the grain so that they can have a little more room to come out here and eat. Let's, Let's go, go get, get them. them. Well, that was weird. That was weird. <laughs> we didn't plan that. Why are you trying to be like me? <laughs> well, you're just so cool. <laughs> I don't know about that. Look at that man alive. I don't know that this season is ever going to come upon us that we don't just think, man, so thankful. <laughs> Hi, everybody. What's up, big guy? You got your stick. Why are you not getting here already? You just eat it like an hour ago. Yeah, I gotta go get your leash and collar. You're gonna come out with us, okay? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's yeah. exciting, huh? I got a stick. You got your stick, yeah. huh? Yeah, you know, see my stick? I see your stick. It's my favorite stick. Is it your favorite stick it's or is it just the only one in your nursery? That's lesson. what I was gonna ask you, yeah. is if it's the only let me one. Take it. I won't take it. You can have it, but okay. let me go get your leash and collar, okay? Hi, buddy boy. Hi, big guy. You wanna Hi. come stretch those legs out? I don't know if you can hear the little whimpers, but those are happy whimpers. He's just once out or with his goats. But notice there is no limp. He's not lifting that back left leg, which is the one he lost the claw on. He's making really good progress. When we took him to the vet for that claw, she did say, you know, we just, the number one thing now is don't let it get infected and moisture, moisture is bad. Well, a couple days ago, we had a lot of rain and so it was wet in here. So we really paid close attention to it. <laughs> He's wanting to come out. But overall, it's doing a lot better. I still don't see a claw growing yet, but he doesn't really let us move his fur out of the way. So it could be started, uh, but we haven't seen any blood and he's really not picking that leg up at all. Plus he's guarding. I mean, barking, jumping, standing up on the panel. So I really think he's ready, but we are just being cautious because all it takes is one goat hoof and the guy could be right back in some pain. So we're gonna keep him on the leash while he's out with us and all these guys are gonna help us cut the grass. <laughs> yeah, You're such knows. a good boy. Mom, my ear's stuck in there. Oh, thank you. Yes. So we really wanted to get the grain in them and then they immediately all start eating the hay, which they've already done. And then they all take naps, which they've already done. And then they go back to the hay. And a lot of times, I think some of them just came back up from Goatville, kind of grazing a bit. So we're really trying to make it so that this is the perfect time. <laughs> yeah, Miss Mama knows, don't you? All right, you gotta let me open it. I tell you what, you open it for me, okay? Good job, Coop. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Come on, goaties. Bluesy, you wanna bring the babies out? Atta girl. Who's my first one eating? Who do you think? Nam nam, nam nam. This is great. Come on, goaties. You're just right outside the gate. You know they're what like, it is. that's good enough for us. <laughs> yeah, it's because they can see that all the time and they're like, I want that right there. Yeah. Spruce or loose? Come here, big guy. No. Spruce. What? Come on, dude. No. Spruce. <laughs> Come on, Mama. Come on, Spruce. Boy, those are some happy goats. Yeah, they are. So bloat is a thing in goats. It's a dangerous thing. It's very bad. But that is why we kept their feed down. And we're only going to keep them out for maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Especially if they're stuffing their faces this consistently the whole time. All right, bub, you want to come join the party? He says, I thought you'd never ask. There's my boy. Oh, we're bringing this stick. <laughs> You're so funny, Eric. I'm going to keep a stick with me because I'm going to go through with it go bury it. So what, you know what I'm saying? Are you going to bury it? Come on, goats. Come on, goats. This is the dream, guys. Believe it or not, people do ask us, why do you have so many goats? Are you going to be goat farmers? Are you planning to sell them? Are you planning to breed them? No, no. And I think we have to be goat farmers, technically, but not in the typical sense of goat farmer, someone who breeds, takes the auction, turns them over, you know, all that good stuff. I would love, I, I know I've told some of you this, if you've been with us a while, I would love for this to be a more common thing. Like instead of giving them any grain at all, obviously maybe not through the winter, but when we have growth and stuff out here, why not let them come out and graze on all this land? And especially now that we've cleared, I don't even know, six, seven acres of it, maybe five, six, somewhere in there uh, they this all this growth 
is fairly new in the last couple of years because all everywhere we're standing right here, I came out with a skid steer with a brush cutter on the front and I made this clear land. It was so thick you couldn't even walk back here. So same as the story up the hill. And now you see a lot more growth on the ground. And that kind of goes back to why I'm trying to clear out some of that land over there just to get them more area and open more up for us and help control the pests, the ticks, the grossness. Mr. Weege man, what's up, buddy? Oh, you know, just eating, eating, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Good job, Harry. Going to town, buddy. Mama, you're doing great. Look at my Earl man back there. They don't have to be very old to know exactly what to do. Spruce it loose. Come on, buddy. Lead the pack. That's my boy. Your buddy Hercules is up here, man. The one you've been hanging out by his gate, waiting for him to come and play with you? Come on, goaty goats. Oh, there he is. He knew right where they were coming. Yeah, we had to go check everything out first, but he knew where, where to go. Duke and Daisy. Oh, here comes Harry. Boozy. <laughs> I love seeing them run. I do too. I've been looking forward to this the entire cold season. Yeah. Do this so more big. and more. You know, I wonder if it continues, you know, like eventually, because they kind of like to be together as a unit and they like to be together where we are. But eventually, is it something like we could come out and work on something and they just stay out and graze and stay in proximity? I think they could. Good job, Hercules. The only one, we could take him off the leash and I could, you know, e-collar him or have him off the leash. But you see right where he's heading. <laughs> he has not been formally introduced to this crew yet, only through the fence. Didn't we let him in the nursery one time? Well, I'm not sure we let him in the nursery one time, but when everybody was banging on the gate, he went in the nursery. He got in the nursery. And he's done great with the littles. He really does. But hey, I think the weather's calm enough today. We could burn that big pile. Woo! That would be fun. You want to tell them what we might put over there? Over here? Yeah, where yeah. that big pile is. I don't know how big that looks. Don't judge the cardboard fire starter I've got buried under it. That's probably a four and a half, five foot tall pile. That is from all the clearing I did over there. I've still got a couple of brush piles over there because Mr. Bruno likes to climb in them and it's a little easier for us to keep an eye on him and him feel like he's out in the woods, out in the wild, but he's technically just right there in the brush pile we made. So that has been rained on. We had a lot of wind over the past uh, 10 years, I'm not sure, <laughs> but today it's just a mild breeze. And because everything's so wet and damp, I think it'd be a good time to see if I can get that thing lit. And a big reason that we wanna burn that down when we first bought the property there was a very, I hate, I can't say this word, dilapidated, dilapidated, something like that. Chicken coop over here. A lot of rock under there. They had it built up. They actually used the rock as the floor of the chicken coop. Now, it didn't look extremely functional and it was very broken down. So we tore it down, but I'd like to clean that up, see if I can't get it level and build our small chicken coop over there. Because I need some chickens. Now that these guineas are laying, we had a half a dozen eggs yesterday. I think that was over the course of two days. But now that they're laying, it is exciting. I know they're little eggs. It's a whole different thing than chicken eggs and chickens are a little, probably easier to contain and guarantee they're gonna lay, but it's time for chickens. And I think that's where they're gonna go. The goatlets all staying together. They were running around playing. It was pretty cute. So along with the chicken coop, which is kind of going to be my baby because I got to build it, Shannon has been working on garden prepping. And I don't want to give away much of her information, mostly because I don't know it. <laughs> so she'll get to do that. <laughs> yeah, I told her, I said, babe, you just, if you need something picked up, move, dug up, deliver, whatever, I, like, I got you. But you want to ask me about seeds and the order and all that stuff, I've spent zero time in my life learning anything about that. So she's going to be my green thumb. 
which is awesome. I'm hoping to be your green thumb. We'll see how it actually goes. Give me a thumbs up. Let me see it. Let me see it. Does it look, look green? There's a little green on there. All there, right. Might be brown from Pet and Herc. <laughs> Either way. He's doing so good. So for those garden beds, she came through with the tractor, got her some more time on it. Was trying to collect. We had a bunch of sticks here because all the land clearing, they've just been strewn about and I did not take time for the small sticks. Little did I know that those sticks can be used in garden beds. So she drug all this down, kind of picked some sticks out of it. I think she's got enough for what she needs and I'll come through and clean that out. And hopefully I'm trying to do a little bit of rock removal, however best I can. Hopefully I can get this to grow, kind of be a small little pasture for everybody with some good greenery. Larry just eggs him on. These two are becoming good buddies though. But anywhere Spruce is, Larry always shows up at some point just to try to get him to talk. Spruce, what do you think about Larry being right there eating that same stuff with you? I don't think it's a very good idea on his part. I'm gonna tell him about it. Nom nom, get off of me, Larry. Hey Larry, the grass is greener on the other side, silly. Such a good goat, Larry. Handsome too, look at them horns. Male La Manchas, I looked up some male La Manchas back when we first got blue, and I believe the males, the billies especially, man, they got these big swooping horns, very thick. Uh, his are not gonna do that, he's obviously not a billy, but over time, I'll be interested to see how those things grow out. Boy, look, you can tell right there, Koopa is bigger than Larry, who is technically almost two months younger than Larry. Okay, so I'm noticing something about our birds. What's that? Okay, there's one over here, down away from everybody. He's like the guard bird. He just sits there and calls out all the time. But notice how far away it is from all the others. These four right here, just pecking around eating. And then we've got two up here doing a dust bath. Oh yeah, well we know gray is a male. Yep. And then we know of at least one other male out of the group. I think we have a pearl that's a male. I haven't been able to spend enough time studying them and listening to their sounds and everything, but I'm kind of picking up on a little bit of their mannerisms, their mannerisms of how they do things. I get it, their mannerisms. Which ones are male? That one over here that's a guard bird is a female though. Mannerisms. It was a terrible pun. I don't get it. <laughs> you shouldn't. <laughs> Which they do, they so, have different roles. Yeah, I've just kind of been watching them and studying them to see how they, how they act, how they talk to each other. Because when we were feeding last night, they went off. And yeah. I mean, went off. So we, of course, ran up here, all the way from down at the goat pen yeah. to all the way up to the top of the hill. And there was an owl that was causing them to go off. And yep. so it's kind of interesting learning what birds or what animals are predators to Whoa. them. Whoa. Yeah, I agree. And I don't think an owl at this point, especially being that they're so close to being full adult guineas, and the owl wouldn't do anything to them. I mean, they were the same size, if not bigger than yeah. the owl, but you know, eggs and things like that. I don't know. He was definitely hunting. So yeah. they, they didn't like that. Look, they all moved together. Come on, Herc. See, this is kind of why I wanted to go to the front of the property because we've got more growth up there because I didn't scrape it up with the rake. Come on. Well, and I really tore all this up whenever I had some time on the tractors. Yeah. <laughs> it's no, a mess now, really. That's good. Got to have a goat train behind you. Come this way, Herc. We gotta take him. We gotta take him over here. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Duke's got some dance moves today. There's Spruce's dance moves. I call that the wobble, Mom. 
So I know Kyle kind of mentioned my garden that I'm going to be starting and there's still more to come on this. This is just kind of the beginning stages, but we got the garden beds delivered the other day. And since Kyle has offered to do all the hard work for me, done. I'm going to have him drive some T-posts for me and I'm actually going to do an, a cattle panel trellis an arched cattle panel trellis that's a lot to say really <laughs> for some of my things like my tomatoes and my zucchini and squash you know things like that so i'm still in the planning stages but i am pretty excited oopsies sorry spruce Watch my out, bad mom. goodness gracious. i didn't know you were right behind I me i always get in trouble when i step on you well you're heavy Ow, my foot hurts. <laughs> enjoy this guys because you're not going to get to come in here once the garden actually gets going <laughs> oh yeah yeah. yeah, they're going to have to be... Uh, They'd put a quick hurt on that, wouldn't they? Yeah, they're going to be kept out of it. This is my first time ever having a garden. I'm just hopeful that I'm able to grow something and be successful with something. So we'll see what happens, but my goal is veggies and herbs. That's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to go small. I'm only planting the things that I know that we will eat. And hopefully I have a little bit of success. So you'll see as the summer goes on how well it's actually doing. The goats are actually already trying to help you with it, babe. I appreciate that. Oh, look, they put a little fertilizer in there for you. <laughs> Thanks, goats. Or maybe they're suggesting you grow some coffee beans. Yeah. This is a sound that you don't hear out of the guineas very often. I'll see if I can get close enough for you to hear it. They're kind of just doing like a real quiet little talk to each other. They're not making their loud chirping sounds. They're not calling out, talking, being guard birds. They're literally just like chatting a little bit. We're coming up on, we're a little past midday and we've been trying to monitor when they are laying their eggs and I've done a lot of research, a lot of reading and the answers are all over the place with guineas. You know, chickens do have a, a range that they're most likely gonna be like laying. a time frame. Uh, and our guineas did the first couple days, they were pretty consistent. And then we would just check throughout the day and boom, there was another egg and we didn't see when it happened. We've not seen a guinea actually drop an egg yet because they just sneak over there and do it. Well, they sneak over there or like I was walking behind the camper the other day and I looked down and there was an egg on the ground. So you just never know where you're going to find them, but they're starting to be a little bit more consistent with this spot over here. Yeah. And we have seen between about 1 PM and six ish, seven ish. Yeah. Just pretty much before they're about ready to start wandering up to the yeah. run. Look how happy they all are. Well, they know here in about a month, that hillside, that stuff gets up to three, three and a half feet tall yeah. and they can chow down. Yeah, I'd Look rather than work on it now to keep it down. That gray guinea is protecting. I'd be curious if somebody just laid an egg. I would also give a guinea a dollar if it would attack one of these goats. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't mean that. Two dollars. Oh, Herc, hey man, you're out here with me. How's jail been? You been locked up. What did you do, man? really improving with these birds. He watches them and stuff, but he's not, not lunging after them. He's so happy he's got to get out of the birds. I think Harry's made some new friends over here. Is he hanging out with the birds? He's kind of been closer to the birds than all the rest of them most of the time we've been out here. <laughs> I've got some help down in my garden beds. That's fantastic. <laughs> I tried to call the vet a couple times yesterday trying to get their banding and vaccination scheduled for the little guys and Miss Daisy. And I gotta admit, I haven't even told Shannon this, I'm just telling you guys, she's up there with Hercules. Uh, it's sad to take, not, not the banding itself, we've done it enough now, it's, they, it's how they get to stay here, but little Earl man over there has a lot of personality and some gorgeous coloring. There's no reason to want to breed him per se because we don't need any more goats. But you know, once you band them, you don't get to, you, you don't even have the option. So, you know, I, I think I just have to stop the goat math. We're gonna get him banded 
And this will be our goat crew at Shady Acres for the foreseeable future. Keep adding guineas, chickens, rhinoceroses, might get an alligator or two. We have an alligator, his name's Bruno. Oh yeah, Bruno's definitely the alligator. And then we have whatever you classify as. I'm the best, I don't even know that you need a name for it, really. Just spruce. Nom nom, nom nom nom, watch out bird. Nom nom. I love that the birds are staying with us. I know. Are you guys eating the ticks so the goats don't get them? Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did we get a little whimper over here? Yeah, he's bleeding just a little bit. Hercules, buddy, I'm sorry. I think it just has to be if he steps on a rock or a stick wrong or something. And that's why we're so worried to put him back in with the goats all the time. Not doing it, yeah. Out here, he's mobile. He's moving around. In there, he's playing. He's wrestling. He's running down through Goatville where all those sticks and rocks and everything we've talked about exist. He's sheriffing. He's being a sheriff. He's being a protector. If there's a squirrel or a rabbit or anything else, I think we've got armadillos that live down there, possum. Any of that stuff comes inside. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you got a feather. You're so proud of yourself. <gasps> I wonder if those are the two males. Oh, look at that. He's following them all the way up. They just got into it a little bit and great. Look, he's still carrying the feather. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was kind of funny. <laughs> that was awesome. They won't hurt each other too bad. They're not like in That turkeys. we know of. Well, they're not. They're, I don't, they're... Look, they're still chasing them. Look. He's like, crud, 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 Gotta go, 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 go. They're so fast. Yeah, they are. Oh, oh, we gone. Come here, Herc. Come here. I mean, they are up there, guys. That is a very tall tree. See, he's still running from them. Goodness gracious. Look how fast they are. It's a guinea battle. So yeah, uh, Herc out here, way calmer than he would be if he were in with the goats, especially once he gets to be with Blue again off his leash. He's got to reestablish. She has taken that queen role down in that pen, especially with those goatlets. And even Luigi and Spruce respect her, even though they are bigger than her and could do something about it. There's still a guinea chase going on. It's distracting as all get out, sorry. Uh-oh. They're into it now. Well, should we try to get them all back to the pin? Yeah, that's always easy. Spruce, you want some animal crackers, dude? Come on, goats. Herc, this way. Yeah, I want animal crackers. Just me, though. Nobody else gets animal crackers, Mom. Just me. Well, you can't be the only one. Nero. Good job, goats. Come on, we have to go back in. Come on. They always get right in front of your feet and it's just like, wh and why? We can't go where we need to go if you do that. Yeah, and then they stop. Oh! Just keep on going and I'll kind of hurt them in. Come on, goaty goats. Go on. You too, Spurs. Good job, everybody. Mama made it too? Yep. All right. All right. I cannot forget this big lovable guy over here. That's a good boy. You want to eat yours in front of the goats and tell them how good they are? <laughs> He's just drooling. <laughs> All right, goaties. Okay. How do I keep track? Go on. Everybody got them. Find something Look else to button. do. You know better. Go on. Oh, you're laying down. Go on. Go on. Find somewhere else. Go on. Crazy birds. Oh, you're like picking on him. What's your deal? Go on, bird birds. Go on. Are you okay, Gray? You okay, bird bird? 
Okay, so I have to tell you, I just pet my first guinea. Yeah, I just pet my first one. They're picking on the gray guinea, which is kind of weird because he's always kind of been one of the dominant ones and kind of picked on the others. But today he must have made somebody mad because they've been chasing him. They've been pulling his feathers out. And then when I went up there to get him to stop picking on the foam insulation, he was like curled up in a ball in the corner and then I pushed them all along and he stuck his head underneath a pallet, stayed there and just let me pet him. So there's something going on there. He must have really made somebody mad. The leaves are coming in on that tree right there. Yeah, that is a pretty sight. I was really nervous that they were going to kill that tree by working on it. And I think they would have if Mario still was here. But yeah, everybody else bad. pretty well leaves it alone. Spruce will scratch on it, but doesn't really eat the bark. Well, that was very successful. No complaints. The only complaint is, you know, Herc. I feel bad for him. Well, I feel bad for him too, but he's still got to get out and have some fun wander. So we'll put some blue coat on that, some of that antibiotic oxidant dodomononum powder. That's what it's technically called. Yeah. I call it a puff. But I think everybody now is gonna have an awesome sleep. Maybe after a little bit more fighting, playing, hanging out. You know, just being goats. But this is good for them. I'm very happy to see how much they graze. Uh, they didn't do enough to keep me from having to mow here in a couple weeks, but I forgive them. You're just going to have to get them out more. I'm down. <laughs> well, guys, it's starting to warm up. The sun's warming up a little bit. It's going to be a gorgeous day. Hopefully we can get a lot done today other than just playing and training Bruno. Yeah. <laughs> we love and appreciate each and every one of you, and we thank you so much for coming on this journey with us. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.